I'm going to make a sticky rice in Visaya Biko. So I'm going to make a Biko here in Australia because I don't have a coconut. So, so I use coconut cream. So they are so easy and quick than riding into a coconut grater. So I, I wash the rice and then I, pop, I put some water. So and this time you don't want to put too much water when you're cooking the the sticky rice. So just uh, you know, then cooking the normal rice, you know, you're gonna put less water than the normal rice when you cook. Because we're gonna add some cream, so that's gonna add more liquid to it and it's gonna go soggy to avoid having a soggy sticky rice or bigel so when you cook the rice make sure less water or maybe half and done or something so time to cook the rice and cover the lid and we'll just wait when it's cooked and then we work on the coconut cream so I use a dark brown sugar um, in in Cebu we call it kilogai so in Australia we call it dark brown sugar so that's all we can get so they're all in beautiful pocket because we don't have coconut so I, I use this coconut cream so I use probably two of them So I put the two cups and the three cups of dark brown sugar and mix it up. So I decided to add one more cup of dark brown sugar so the rich started to boil so you keep, you keep stirring it so this means it's nearly reduced what we can do at this stage we can add vanilla extract add vanilla extract to this spoon pinch of salt mix it up and then when it's really nearly reduced you're gonna keep stirring so if you have a calamansi or kumquat you add to this but if you don't have any citrus you can use a vinegar so just a two teaspoon of vinegar or if you had a citrus fruit you could add it to the flavor to cut off the sweetness. So at this stage, if you could see the oil started coming out from the cream, and you can see like a lumps, and it means that it's, our rice is ready to put in the pot. So it's time to put the rice in. After putting the rice into the cream, you just keep mixing it. So this is nearly ready. They like hold on together, not so runny. So it started to thicken up a bit. So it means the sugar caramelized to the rice. So I'll just, you just at this stage, you're just gonna keep stirring. until all the liquid reduces and it's easy to form a shape to the rice. It's all done so I actually move it into the big bowl and when it's not too hot so then you can start it shaping it. So at this time I'm gonna 
Mickey into a round because it's going to be a Christmas, oh no, New Year's Eve. So it's a tradition in Filipino. You're gonna shape it into a round shape. I don't know. So I have already 13, 13 fruits that shape rounds. It's just part of the tradition. So this is, I'm gonna make it into a round as well.